Hello, hello, hello. Hola all. Alan here. Coming at you today with one of my favorite short stories from Lovecraft. It's called The Shadow Over Innsmouth. Um, I've read this once before. One of my favorite short stories for a number of reasons. Lovecraft is becoming one of my favorite horror writers. Uh, I, admittedly, I, I'm coming to Lovecraft late. I've only been reading him for a couple of years. This is the only book I have that the Taluth Mythos Tales, uh, Gilded Edges, uh, hardcover, little bookmark. But anyway, it's a, I'm starting to find, I've only read like a handful of stories, but I'm starting to find uh, key themes in Lovecraft. Like, um, while they're in, takes place in uh, uh, New England, America, a lot of uh, like devil worship, uh, the Kutaluth cult in the uh, Dragon cult, uh, Freemasonry, is uh, surrounding it uh, a lot of like prohibition era things a lot of odors in his stories like uh and in Innsmouth there's uh, this fishy odor that uh, prevails the uh the county um what else he uses a lot, he uses a lot of the similar words he uses a uh, queer many times in the story it was a, uh, you know, he was a queer old duck. Um, you know, a queer foreigner. There's a lot of, uh, like, uh, alien people, alienation, foreigners. Um, Lovecraft is uh, criticized much for his, uh, his, uh, Attitude towards foreigners, like um, Chinese people. Uh, uh, he's uh, uh, kind of racist in that regard. The stories take place in the uh, early 19th century, um, 1800s, even late 1800s, uh, eight, or mid-1800s. His language is really um, unique. It, it's stylistic. Devil worship. Uh, peculiar secret cult. Now this story, yeah, Masonic Hall, Freemasonry. This story surrounds Plum Island in New England. It surrounds an unnamed narr narrator, and I also want to say he mentions Toledo, Ohio, in this. There's a like a back story about Ohio and Cleveland and a mental institute in Canton, Ohio, but he mentions Toledo, Ohio, twice in this story. It's my birthplace where I grew up and was raised. So I get a kick out of that when I hear, you know, my hometown mentioned. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. The Order of Dagon. It had a pervading, pervading everything with a most nauseous, fishy odor inimaginable. This fishy odor. Because... The narrator finds these people in Innsmouth, they look strange. They have weird heads and a strange color. But as the story progresses, he, uh, he hears some strange stories about the town. He's like doing a little uh, tour of New England and decides to stop in Innsmouth. And um, he uh, interviews this <clears throat> old drunk and he buys him some uh, moonshine and gets him even drunker. And 
the old drunk uh, tells this tale about these people that he saw as a child who uh, took to the sea, like Kuhalan, you know, or <laughs> Kuhalan. I can't pronounce it. Uh, Cthulhuth, Cthulhuth, okay? He's under the sea. And there's this fishy odor of prevailing. But he finds out for himself and sees these people. And then in the backstory on his maternal side, there's all these relics like a tiara and um, different ornaments and museums. He finds out that his uh, family has some of these ornaments and that he's starting to look in the mirror and, and check himself. Uh, he's kind of turning fishy. And then his cousin is in the mental hospital in Canton because he went crazy over this. I think I'm changing into what's going on. I'm a growing, growing gills. Wait, what? Um, and then he had an uncle who committed suicide over the, just uh, Lovecraft packs so much into the story. It's incredible. So if you're into horror like me, do yourself a favor, pick up some Lovecraft. This is a reread for hashtag horror mayhem. And I'm going to leave it at that. Lovecraft is the shite. Make a comment, like, subscribe. I'll reply back to you. All right, take care. Talk to you later.